is a due to the cover of the program. He could march so he could run. They believed in without violence. And they've proven that one person can make a difference. They chose the hard rights over the easy wrongs. You know, what makes this country great is our diversity, our ability to overcome adversity, and our ability to change like no other country in the world. We know we're facing problems. But we're also equally sure because we've proven we will overcome those problems. We'll become better off because of it. And this country will always continue to move forward. Because of all the people in this room, because of people in this country that fight for what they believe in without violence. That institute change for the better. That never give up. And I'm so proud of this country. It's amazing. But I want to congratulate the recipients again. I'm going to tell a small Carol Brown story. I hope she doesn't get upset. Brown story. Uh, some of you may know the mayors have an opportunity today to meet with President Barack Obama. So I called the president. I said, Mr. President. He goes, yes, John. I said, I know we have the opportunity to be in D.C. today to meet with you, but, he goes, yes, John? I said, well, Carol Brown has a world recipient dinner tonight. I said, John, we'll reschedule. Tell me said the best. <laughs> Congratulations. God bless you all. God bless America. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. If I knew you had it like that with Mr. Obama, Dr. Lamar you more often come from the West Haven Superintendent of Schools. Please give a warm round of applause to Mr. Neil Cavallaro. Thank you, everybody. It really is a pleasure to be here tonight. Uh, Carol has been a, a longtime friend, mentor, uh, confidant over the years. Uh, she's given me a lot of advice. She still, she always refers to me as young, but that's because I graduated from high school with uh, her oldest son, Teddy. So uh, I guess I'll always be a, a kid to her, but uh, she really has been a, a good friend over the years. Uh, on behalf of the Board of Education, I, I'm so proud to be here tonight to congratulate all of the recipients uh, receiving the awards, especially uh, those who are receiving scholarship awards. Uh, as, as those who came uh, much before me said, you have a bright future ahead of you. We wish you nothing but the best and success. Uh, we are so proud of you. Uh, I have to, I always say this, and I don't want to embarrass her, but uh, Brittany James, uh, especially, who I've known since she was, I think, a second grader at Thompson School when I was principal, to watch her grow into the, uh, the young woman that she's become, a talented young lady. Uh, she's nothing but uh, nothing but the best in front of her, and, and, and I wish, again, I wish, wish her well, and wish all the recipients well. Thank you for allowing me to be here tonight. Uh, and um, again, uh, enjoy the evening and, and, and thank you. All right, our next person we're going to have ratings from is Mr. Ron Quagliani from the West Haven Chief of Police. So, nice round of applause, please. Ron Very well done, thank you. And I watch you every morning at 5 30. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I just on behalf of the West Haven Police Department, I would like to extend my greetings and the greetings of the men and women of the department. I just before I continue, I just had Teddy Brown and Teddy Brown Sr. Teddy, I'm surprised. You know, Sean Brown came up here and he, he mentioned what happened to him on the way to the awards dinner. And the first mistake he made, and I'm surprised, is that he didn't mention Teddy Brown, police officer, retired Detective Sergeant Teddy Brown. Right? That was one of his friends. I want to congratulate again all the award recipients here tonight. I specifically want to mention and congratulate uh, one particular award recipient, 
uh, Lisa Whitney Garber, uh, my boss, um, for uh, being uh, honored here this evening. I also want to thank Carol Brown. Carol Brown for her adv advocacy work in our community. Yes, you did hear it right. Uh, the police chief is thanking Carol Brown for her community activism and her work over the years. Carol will tell you it wasn't too long uh, when a call from Carol Brown to the chief's office was considered somewhat of an unpleasant experience. Not only for the chief, but for Teddy Brown, who had worked for the chief. That doesn't happen today. Carol and I have a great relationship and we discuss regularly what we can do in partnership to benefit our community of West Haven. You all know that Carol will do anything to fix an injustice and will drop anything to right a wrong. Well, almost anything. Just don't call her on Wednesday when she's getting her nails done. Because we're going to have to wait. You all know that Carol can mix it up with the best of them. She can be that bull in the china shop if she need be. She is someone you would want to be on your side to right a wrong or fight the fight to right an injustice. But you know, as well as I do, that Carol is one of the most charming, articulate, and impassioned individuals you'll ever meet. All that in one package. Carol, your advocacy and your, let me be politically correct, persistency, and your persistency and your persistency have made me, my department, and the West Haven community a better place. Thank you very much. Persistency times three <laughs> equals, okay. All right, uh, our final uh, greetings from uh, the city of West Haven come from Patty Busco, the president of the West Haven Federation of Teachers. Welcome everyone tonight. I bring you greetings from the West Haven Federation of Teachers and Me. Uh, she was president of PTA Council when I first became involved in PTA. Um, she's a wonderful woman and a wonderful example for all of us to follow. And I was struck tonight by the, um, the two ends of the spectrum. We have the young people that are being honored and I'm very proud of all of you and I know all your teachers are very proud of you. Um, and you're doing very well and you've done wonderful things and your, your future lies ahead of you and there's, there's so much more that you're going to do. But on the other hand, uh, side of the, uh, the other end of the spectrum, we have all the honorees tonight who are your role models. These are the people that you should look at as examples of, of what you want to be. Our speaker tonight spoke about having goals and having uh, vision. Your goal should be to be just as, as uh, wonderful as any one of these people being honored tonight. Thank you very much and good evening. Now we're going to call for Mr. Lester Holly where the dream lives on. Well, Mr. United Healthcare. If you will see the billboard on the corner of, I think it's um, the Post Road and Orange Avenue, you will see that American a married choice is one of our co-sponsors. So I refer to them as U.S. Healthcare. There is a very big difference. This is a married choice by United Healthcare. <laughs> Carol and Mr. Cavallaro, Superintendent of Schools. It is with honor and delight that I am able to present to you this distinct, distinctive selection of students from West Haven High School. They have many goals, they have many desires, they represent the classes of 2010, 2011, and 2012. And for us, they are the dream that lives on. The first recipient of the West Haven Black Coalition Student Recognition Award is Gilbert Ag Agamem. Volunteering at his church daycare center, 
He has received uh, various awards and recognition, such as he was a recipient of the School uh, Scholar Leadership Award, the Patriot Pen Award, the 20 His career goals, he wants to be a pediatrician. A good man knows his boundaries. A great man knows he has none. The person he admires the most, Martin Luther King Jr. Because in addition to being a fighter for equality, I admire his perseverance. The fact that he continued to press on with his dream amid adversity is a testament to his strong will and ultimately reinforces the idea that anything is possible if one never stops trying. Yep. Our next recipient is Jeffrey B. Brandish. He's a senior. This new activity is a group. He's a member of the Young Men's Leadership Group, the Animal Club, the History Club, and he participated in and successfully completed a very intense program called Developing Tomorrow's Professionals. His community activities include, well, Carol has served as an usher for you at the Martin Luther King event. His plan major and his career goals, he wants to be, uh, he wants to major in computer science. His favorite saying or quotation, even if you shoot for the moon and miss, you land amongst the stars. The person he admires the most, his mother and his father. As one gave me the mind to learn, and the other gave me the voice to be heard. The next question recipient is Corey Cunningham. He's a junior. His two activities included football, pop water football, baseball. He is presently the treasurer of the Young Men's Leadership Group at the high school. His community activities, well, Ken Carroll, he was one of your ushers at the Martin Luther King event. Plus, he, he helps his neighbors in the, uh, the neighbor in terms of uh, taking care of the yards, maintaining their lawns. His favorite saying or quotation, the person he admires the most, is from Martin Luther King. Because the essence of his message was not to judge a person by his race, but to judge that person by his character. Of course. Someone's shy, but I've spoken in his own way. His school activities include football, DECA, and he's presently the secretary of the Young Men's Leadership Group. His community activities, well, he was a Special Olympics volunteer, as well as an usher at your Martin Luther King event, Ms. Brown. His favorite saying or quotation, if not me, then who? And if not now, then when? Our next recipient is Brittany James. She's a senior. Her school activities include theater workshop, children's theater, mock team trial, and GSA. Her recognition awards, Connecticut Schools Associate Arts Award, the Bears Honor Award for two years, the Smith College Book Award, and Academic Achievement Award for two years. Her plan major career goal, women's studies. Her favorite saying or quotation, only ourselves can free our minds. Bob Marlowe. The person she admires the most, Angela Davis. Because not only did she seek formal education, she educated herself and made strides to change the world. Brittany James. Our next uh, recipient could not be in attendance this evening, Shanaysia Lowry, but we'll just uh, mention her accomplishments. She's a sophomore, she sings in the church choir, she's a church usherette. Her awards include school's honor roll and citizenship awards. Her plan major and career goal was to be a pediatrician. Her favorite saying or quotation, success is the good fortune that comes from aspiration, desperation, perspiration, and inspiration. Person she admires the most, her grandmother, Queen, 
her mother Tammy because they always have been there for her. They're the reason why she works hard to pursue her dreams. Our next recipient is Joanna McDowell. She's a senior. Her school activities include varsity track, marching and concert band, women's empowerment through education club. Community activities include the West Haven Drug and Alcohol Task Force. Her awards and recognitions, the Bears Honors Award, Academic Achievement Award. She's a CAP Scholar, West Haven Rotary Club Athletic Scholars. Her plan major, career goals, criminal or clinical psychology. Her favorite saying or quotation, only those who risk going too far will know how far they can truly go. Person she admires the most, she admires her mom the most because she is the most selfless and given person she knows. She gives and does everything she can for her siblings and for her, always putting herself second. You know? You know. Our next recipient is Obina C. Okafor, OB for short. His school activities <laughs> soccer, National Honor Society, community activities, vacation, Bible school, volunteer, recognition awards, their honors award. He's on the high honor roll. Plan major, career goal is computer engineering. His favorite saying or quotation. Achieve whatever you want through determination and hard work. The person he admires the most, and it's a personification, I admire hard work and diligence to be successful in life. OB. Our next recipient is Crystal Williams. She's presently out of the country attending the theater room, but she's a junior. junior. Her school activities include the Young Women's Leadership Group, community activities. She's the president of the Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church Choir, and the recognition awards include the Mathematics Awards, Student of the Month Awards. Her plan major career goal is to be a lawyer or a pediatrician, and to make my mom and to make my mom and dad proud. Her favorite saying or quotation: "Let go and let God." The person she admires the most, her older sister, Keisha, because through it all, she has managed to make it and better herself. Another, another student who is not to be here this evening is Markel Wright. He's a senior. His school activities include his marching and concert band, jazz band, the brass swim band, academic integrity <clears throat> committee, the National Honor Society, Recognitions Award, include Beers Honors Award, Plan Major, Career Goals to be a wildlife biologist. His favorite saying or quote, you cannot depend on your eyes if your imagination is out of focus, Mark Bay. Mr. Brown, Mr. Cavallaro, students of West Haven High, Recognition Awards. That is wonderful. It's great to see these young people who are already achieving so much and have such great dreams for the future. And it's great to see uh, so many uh, young men and young women both represented uh, in this group of outstanding scholars.